Ken Burns' country music documentary comes out next month, but before it does, you can get a unique glimpse of Knoxville's role in music history. Yeah, WUOT is one of 37 radio and TV stations around the country selected for a grant to produce their own country music project before the big premiere. And here's Emily DeVoe with more. It's a phrase you've probably heard before. Country music, born in Bristol, raised in Knoxville, sold out in Nashville. It's also the name of WUOT's new five-part podcast about country music. We wanted to focus on what happened here in the history of country music, including up to the, today. And also the big question is, why didn't we become Nashville? Because Roy Acuff was here, Chet Atkins was here, WNOX, the midday merry-go-round. The country music was just bubbling up in, in the early days of country. And so we want to find out who ran it off or what happened. Todd Steed is the music director at WUOT. This will fill in a lot of interesting pieces of the puzzle, not just in country music, but in the history of Knoxville, Tennessee. You know, when you talk to one person, they say, oh, you really need to talk to the other person. The uh, radio Brad. station is one of only a few in the country awarded a grant to produce its own country music project. Country music comes from right in here. Ahead of Ken Burns' documentary. Uh, there's so many great things that happen in Knoxville that are not in the documentary. And the timing could not be better for us to say, hey, while you're watching the documentary or before you watch the documentary, let us tell you some other stories that will connect it even deeper to, to what you might know. Steed has spent countless hours editing the interviews, stories, and songs together. Including an original piece they commissioned for the project. And I called up Mick Harrison and Trisha Jean Brady, you know, two great songwriters, great singers, and I said, I think you could write a song uh, and we can record it in about two weeks. I mean, if someone came to me with that, I would say, I need a month. And the next day, Mick Harrison sent me a text with a voice recording on his phone of him singing, Raised in Knoxville. I went, you've already written it? To help tell the story, Steed traced country music from Bristol to Knoxville. We talked to Bradley Rees, Jack Neely, people that know the history. Also, uh, Ernie Freeberg here on the campus of the University of Tennessee, who knows a lot about a lot of kinds of history. And, but we also talked to musicians. We brought in Con Hunley, who was a major country music star in the 70s and 80s. Whether you're a country music buff or you've never heard of Roy Acuff, Steed hopes everyone will finish the podcast with new knowledge of Knoxville's role in country music and country music's role in Knoxville. For Live at 5 at 4, I'm Emily DeVoe. And new episodes of Raised in Knoxville podcast come out every Thursday. You can listen to them at WUOT.org.